Lance Armstrong. The superstar cyclist has already been stripped of his medals. Now the evidence that he doped for years is costing him millions in sponsorships and the leadership of his Livestrong charity. ABC's Neil Karlinski brings us that story from Seattle. Good morning, Neil. George, good morning. It has been a devastating 24 hours for Armstrong. His sponsors have been dropping like flies. There are threats of civil litigation. It's as if his entire legacy is being erased right before his eyes. Stripped of his Tour de France titles by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, Lance Armstrong is now being stripped of his livelihood. Like Domino's, big money sponsors are dropping the disgraced champion in droves. Anheuser-Busch, FRS Sports Drinks, Trek Bicycles, Giro Helmets, 24-Hour Fitness, and the biggest of the big, Nike, which wrote its own damning guilty verdict due to the seemingly insurmountable evidence that Lance Armstrong participated in doping and misled Nike for more than a decade, we have terminated our contract with him. The fact that he made millions uh, by cheating, by deceiving children and cancer survivors and those who looked up to him as some kind of a role model and leader and icon, it's truly one of the worst stories in sports. The now drug-tainted fairy tale made Armstrong a very wealthy man with his own private jet, mansions in Austin, Texas and Aspen, Colorado, a vast art collection and more. Analysts estimate he was making $15 million a year for more than a decade, all apparently based on a lie. Lance Armstrong's earning power is completely done. He's in some way going to be relegated to being a normal, everyday person again. At the Olympic Training Center in Colorado, an Armstrong quote has now been removed. In the midst of the collapse Wednesday, Armstrong, who still maintains his innocence, stepped down as chairman of Livestrong, the foundation he created to fight cancer. Now just days from celebrating their 15th anniversary, Livestrong's leadership can only hope that donations don't dry up with Lance Armstrong's reputation. I'm always concerned about the future of our organization, and, uh, and that's because the mission is so important. A lot of people wonder, why doesn't Armstrong just come out and explain himself? Well, insiders say it may be that he fears even more civil liability and possibly even perjury charges if he changes his story now. George? Well, yeah, and, and Neil, this is so devastating, as you point out, but we also know that Lance Armstrong is an amazing competitor as well. Do you have any sense of what kind of a comeback he might be plotting? Boy, that is impossible to say. I mean, people close to him say that his absolute plan right now is to lay low. He still plans to take part in Livestrong. He's still on the board. He is passionate about cancer, but he needs to keep a low profile for the very near future, at least. Okay, Neil Karlinski, thanks very much.